Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through a what I eat in a day. I was looking back at my videos, you know, just seeing kind of what I have put out and I haven't done a what I eat in a day in a while. So I thought I would do an updated one for January because as you guys know, I have touched on it. I am back tracking my calories again and I am back bulking again. So I thought I would do an updated what I eat in a day and they are always so, so highly requested. So yeah, that is what we're going to be doing today. As you will have seen this morning, I had my yogurt, dark chocolate, honey, chia seeds and cinnamon powder. That is literally a go-to for me at the moment. It doesn't make me feel too full. Like I am not a big breakfast girly and I just do not like breakfast that make me feel really, really full, especially before I train. So that has been perfect for me at the moment. And I also had a sugar-free vanilla latte and my vitamins as well. I will just quickly talk you guys through what vitamins I take because that is a very highly requested question. So I will just quickly run that through. So here is the stack that I have. <laughs> right now i get all of my vitamins just off amazon because you know they obviously come really quickly and they're usually not too expensive on there um but let's quickly run through it so i take vitamin d i live in the uk we don't get too much sun so having like a vitamin d supplemented into my diet is super important to make sure that i am still getting that vitamin in my diet and obviously vitamin d kind of like keeps your bones and your teeth and everything healthy so that's why i take vitamin d and then i also take vitamin b this is a vitamin b complex and i take Take one of these a day. Vitamin B really helps with the growth of your red blood cells and kind of keeping your red blood cells healthy. That was like a tongue twister. <laughs> and they also just help with so many things like your brain function, digestion, everything like that. So that is a good, like well-rounded vitamin to take. I'm obviously not telling you guys to take all this stuff as well, by the way. You know, make sure that everything is safe for you to take before you start taking something. This is just personally what I take on a daily basis. And then I obviously also take my omega-3 threes this also contributes to you know maintenance of your brain function as well as well as maintaining the function of your heart and yeah it reduces your risk of any like cardiovascular disease or anything like that and then this is a fairly recent um vitamin that i've started taking but it is ashwagandha and these are basically meant to reduce like stress and anxiety i'm not sure if these like have actually helped me at all yet i literally started taking them maybe a month ago around like december time and yeah, I don't know if I would like notice a difference if I maybe came off them, but I'm just gonna like continue on them and maybe hopefully see more results, you know, over a longer period of time. But ashwagandha can also improve your like athletic performance as well um, within the gym. So as well as lots of other benefits. So as always, do your own research before you kind of take any of these things. And then lastly, I take these hair, skin and nails um, gummies from Nutriburst. And I love these. I love the taste of them as well. <laughs> They're strawberry flavor and they just taste unreal. I just take two a day. Um, I obviously have hair extensions in, so I can't tell if my hair is growing, but it's always good to take, you know, like a supplement for your hair, skin and nails as I obviously want those things to be healthy. So yeah, that is the current vitamins that I am taking. I was actually taking a multivit every day as well, but I've actually ran out. That reminds me I need to order them off Amazon and they'll come tomorrow, but yeah. It's obviously not like a super extensive list. I feel like if you have a very, very, very extensive list of vitamins that you are taking every day, you kind of need to take a look at what you are eating and why you need to, you know, supplement and add so many of these vitamins onto your diet as well as the food that you are eating. But yeah, I thought I would quickly run that through because I get asked that question a lot. As I said, do your own research before you, you know, take any of these vitamins. But yeah, I have only had one meal today, the meal that you guys will have seen, my yogurt, and I will put the uh, macros and everything on the screen for that. Yeah, it's currently half past 10. I'm going to the gym a little bit later. I actually have really, really been enjoying going to the gym a little bit later now rather than going at like the crack of dawn. <laughs> I am just so much more enjoying having like a slow morning. I know that I said that in 2024, I wanna be waking up really, really early and going straight to the gym, but I was kind of like noticing that that was like inducing like a lot of stress within me to kind of like beat the clock sort of thing. Like every morning it was like a race to get out the door by a certain time when, as a matter of fact, I am very grateful that I don't actually need to do that. I, you know, I don't start a job at 9am, for example. I work from home and I work for myself. So I, 
usually do a lot of my work at night anyway so I don't actually need to be waking up so so early and kind of sacrificing a little bit of sleep just to get to the gym a little bit earlier so I've been going to the gym a little bit later and I've also had so much more energy as well in my sessions going a little bit later because I can have a little bit more food in me as well and I feel like my body's just way more woken up so that I have a little bit more energy and uh, speaking of having more energy I'm gonna have a bagel right now because obviously yogurt and you know things like that it's not very high in carbs so the only carbs that I really had in that meal were my raspberries and you know that is not gonna cut it <laughs> for this leg session I have got quads this morning which I'm of course gonna take you guys along on but quads is very um how do I put it it makes me feel nervous <laughs> really nervous because it is like I don't know why I'm saying it makes me nervous when I'm the one that literally plans my workouts you know I do everything myself I, I don't have a coach <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying it makes me nervous and that I'm scared um but I just don't know why I absolutely feel like abusing myself when I do quads like I I, I don't know what it is <laughs> but you know 2024 is for the big quads so we've got to do it and i thought it'd be fun to take you guys along i had my rest day yesterday so it's currently what day is it today thursday um i trained glutes and hamstrings on monday i trained push on tuesday and then yesterday um i had my rest day so that my legs are fully recovered for today's insane quads workout i also guys this is not gym related but i just need to speak to you about this I have started watching Vampire Diaries. I'm obsessed. Like, it's an unhealthy obsession. Like, wh when did I start this show? Let me just, let me just rewind. Okay, so I started Vampire Diaries about a week and a half ago. Like, the start of last week. I'm on season three. I'm nearly halfway through season three. I have a problem. I have a problem. I am... I just love it so much. I don't know how I've never seen this show before because everybody always used to bang on about it and say how much I loved it because I am like a diehard like Twilight stan. Let me just insert a picture on the screen. This was my God knows what 10th birthday. I am a Twilight stan. It is some of my favorite like film series ever. I will never not love it. I have watched it multiple, multiple, multiple times. Never get bored of it. I love it. It's one of my comfort films so i really don't know how i'd never watched vampire diaries before guys when i tell you i have an obsession with with damon mostly and i'm only on season three i um sorry I, I find myself like thinking about it when i'm not even watching it like i could be at the gym and i'm thinking about vampire diaries it actually that is so embarrassing to say but i am so happy that this is my first time watching it because i just wish that i could watch like friends or gossip girl for the first time like just another time i wish i could watch it for the first time because i've seen those millions and millions and millions of times as you guys know so being able to watch vampire diaries for the first time ever it makes me so happy but like i need to put some self-restraint on myself to make it last longer because i can't get through it this quick like i, I want it to last as long as possible and I know that as soon as I finish it, I'm going straight back to season one, episode one, once again, because I build unhealthy obsessions with shows. Like, you guys know, my obsessions with Gossip Girl and Friends is an issue. I have watched them all probably like a hundred times over. Friends more so. And I could never get bored of it, ever. I don't know what it is. It's just so comforting to me. And I can see Vampire Diaries being my new... It'll never beat friends, I don't think, but I can see it being my new obsession. And yeah, please do not spoil it. <laughs> please do not spoil it in the comments. Uh, by the time this video is up on Sunday, who knows? I might have finished the whole thing. <laughs> I will probably be on season four by then. I think I'm on episode 10 of season three and it's now Thursday. This video is going to go up on Sunday. So yeah, who knows where I'll be at by then. <laughs> I have a problem. I just wanted to update you guys because... I swear to God, I have never had as many messages as I have on Instagram after saying that I've started Vampire Diaries. Like, everybody's obsessed with it. And, you know, I see why. It's fucking unreal. And just, Damon, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Anyway, I need to just get over it. I don't think I'll ever be over it. I don't think I will ever be over it. But I need to go to the gym and not stay at home and watch it. <laughs> I'm really sorry for the long intro of this video. I thought we could just catch up um not really catch up 
just the Vampire Diaries talk to be honest but I really need to get to the gym because I need to get back and do some work but I'm gonna have a bagel first because it's been a couple of hours now since I've had my breakfast so my, your girl's gonna start getting hungry again um, what's the date today? Oh, nice. These go out. These go out of date tomorrow, and I've got three to eat. <laughs> Challenge accepted. These are my favourite bagels ever, but I've I've just eaten these so many times that I just don't want them anymore. I have not built up an, an ick, but I just I don't actually look forward to my bagel anymore because I've had it so much and I'm so bored of it. And I need to have like a new obsession snack, but. I can just eat these really quick. I'm just gonna put a bit of um, honey on it. But yeah, that is the update from me, guys. I, I feel like I should actually kind of talk about the what I eat in a day instead of Vampire Diaries. Um, but <laughs> I am currently at 2,800 calories. Before I pause my bulk for a couple of months at the end of last year, I was on just over 3,000. And my appetite has obviously gone down a lot since then. Um, so I'm just kind of working my way back up and 2,800 is working really well for me right now. And I'm trying to aim for the around 150 grams of protein, just a little bit over mark because I am a small girl. I'm five foot two. I do not need to be having, you know, like 200 plus grams of protein every day it's not necessary don't need to do it don't stress yourself out because you're not hitting 200 grams of protein like just chill out i recommend having like 2.2 to 2.5 grams of protein ish per kg of body weight in order to build muscle just as a little guide for you because i feel like it usually says like 2.2 pounds Per, no, not 2.2 pounds, 2.2 grams per pound of body weight, but that is not actually that much protein at all. That's probably just to like maintain, you know, that's probably just for someone that doesn't want to build muscle. So if you are somebody that wants to build muscle, have around 2.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, not per pound of body weight. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm literally wearing the exact same outfit as my last video as well, by the way. I have washed this jumper, I promise. Oh, there she is. Right, I'm just going to weigh out... I think it's 20 grams, no, 10 grams of honey that I usually have on my bagel. No, it is 20 grams. I lied. It's 20 grams. There we go. And I will put the macros and everything on the screen for how many, you know, calories and everything like that is in this little snack. It's obviously so important to have, you know, some sort of energy source before your session. And obviously carbs are a great energy sauce all right guys i have just got to the gym i'm just about to have my pre-workout i'm having pride from ehp i love this pre-workout going about it all the time um and my favorite flavor is rainbow candy it honestly just tastes like loads of different flavors of skittles like all mixed together it's so nice it is really sweet though um i also love fantasy soda as as well and the raspberry one too um i'm pretty sure it's in stock in all the flavors i'm not too sure but my um link is in the description and if you guys want to get a discount off any supplements from ehp you can use my code mia i will put it on the screen and it'll give you 10 percent off everything if you need some fresh supplements for 2024 head to the link below um but i'm just gonna have one scoop of this because i have had a coffee this morning and i don't want to have too much um caffeine so yeah just one scoop i'm gonna just have a bit of this water i don't like my um pre-workout drink to have too much water in because i like to just um drink it like as quick as possible so i'm just gonna have this and this pre as well also like gives you an insane pump like it's got um oh, i can't remember what the ingredients called in it that just it increases like vasodilation in your muscles like it's mental and i always get the best pump which is a big reason as to why i take this as well but yeah it's currently midday it's actually 12 o'clock now just just before 12 and i don't usually like training at this time not gonna lie i'd wish i'd come like an hour earlier but it's fine i'm gonna hopefully be back by like two o'clock ish and then i need to have my post-workout meal which i actually made last night i made like three batches of my tea so it's just easy for me when i get home i can just quickly chuck it in the microwave um obviously i'll show you guys that once i get home but yeah 
let me take you guys along on today's quads and calf session. Let's get straight into today's workout. So I started off with barbell squats, as I've mentioned before on my YouTube channel. This movement is a movement that I have really been trying to progress on again. I used to do it literally every single quad day and then I just kind of got out of practice with it, but I'm trying to implement it into all of my quad days from now on. Um, and I really can see my strength building up as the weeks go on. But as you will have seen, I just did a warm up set of 80 kg and then I just thought why not I'll try 100 kg which is what I'm doing right now and I managed to get five solid reps which I was quite happy with um I used to be able to do more reps with that weight but obviously it's going to come with time um the more I practice the more reps I'm going to be able to do with more weight but I feel like I got a solid five reps out um on that 100 kilograms so I'm thinking of maybe upping it to 105 next week it's all about just implementing progressive overload in small amounts week by week and then clearly I had a death wish <laughs> and I decided to do pendulum squats as well as barbell squats I really don't know what was wrong with me I don't know what possessed me but pendulum squats is absolutely unreal for the quads I love it so much um and I did three sets of 10 to 12 reps I believe I wanted to do a little bit more volume with this seeing as though I focused a little bit more on the strength side of things with the barbell squats I wanted to just really you know focus on tiring out my quads and focus more on hypertrophy um and it was a struggle as you can see <laughs> if you are not pushing yourself hard enough this is your sign to push yourself harder than you already are you've always got one more rep in the tank i promise and then went on to the absolute devil. I think these are worse than the first two exercises combined. Um, these are close stance Smith machine lunges. And the reason for the close stance is that that targets the quads more than the glutes and the hamstrings, which obviously we want to target in a quad workout. If you wanted to target your glutes and hamstrings, for example, more in this movement, I would recommend putting the leg that is um, further towards the back a little bit further back so that your stance is wider but to target more quads then have a close stance and these are just the devil as you can see I was struggling so so much um, but it's so so important to include unilateral movements in your leg days to prevent any imbalances and to really focus on one side of the body at one time and then another devilish exercise we have leg extension drop set i did eight reps on the heaviest weight that i was doing straight down into 10 reps like lowered the weight at the same time and then straight down into 12 reps again so whenever the weight decreases the reps increase and you're doing all this with no rest in between and then do that for three sets one of the worst pains in the world <laughs> but you need to give it a go it's the worst pain but it's also the best pain and i have seen insane quad growth since implementing that drop set into my routine and then lastly we've got the most boring part of the workout in my opinion and that is calves i have really been loving just kind of blasting them at the end of my workout and i do three sets of as many reps as possible literally just body weight and it wrecks my calves <laughs> But if you guys want to shop my workout guide and train like me, the link is in the description. Right, I have just got back from the gym. Do not be fooled. I have just put my pyjama bottoms on because comfort is key. I want to be comfy this afternoon because I am not leaving the house again today. So I'm going to have my dinner because I'm really hungry and it's like two o'clock now. So I, as I said, I have last night's tea. So I made like a little bit of a a roast but like a healthy roast sort of thing so we've literally just got chicken potatoes and veg but the roast part of it is the gravy <laughs> so the gravy makes everything taste nice so it looks very grim right now i'm gonna put it on a plate um but trust me once the gravy's on it <laughs> it'll look good promise <laughs> but yeah that is what i'm gonna have for my dinner just obviously super um easy and convenient oh my god i just Ooh, did something weird to my hip i don't meal prep all the time this is genuinely just because obviously when you do like a roast chicken you can't really just do a bit of the chicken you have to do like the whole thing so and i really fancy one so that is going to be my dinner for today and tomorrow but i have been really obsessed with like nando's chicken at the moment um i got like some nando's sauce the other day like the garlic uh, lemon and herb mild sauce and it slaps it slaps so hard i don't need a yeah i do need a knife um and i've just literally been frying like a chicken breast with that sauce on it and then doing some rice and then just like some broccoli or green beans or something and you know the sauce just the sauce makes it i'm not gonna lie 
because without the sauce it would just be very boring um, but I highly recommend because you can obviously still hit your macros whilst having very nice flavorful meals don't forget that don't be eating you know just like plain chicken broccoli and rice make it nice you know make it how you want to have it but this is what it's looking like without gravy so i've got like a chicken leg and then a bit of breast as well and um, some potatoes and then some broccoli and i'm gonna put this in the microwave for like six minutes because if you know me you know that i have like a fear of food poisoning i need to overcook and overheat my food um, until it's basically like charcoal so that i don't get food poisoning whilst my dinner is in the oven i am gonna just make like a little drink that i've really been enjoying at the moment so it's literally just water with um this like vimto vimto squash thing and i feel like it just kind of like curbs my sugar craving a little bit not that i like cut out sugar or anything but obviously you want to reduce it like as much as you can um and i feel like having like a nice sweet drink just really reduces that i personally love water like i don't have a problem with the taste of water um so like it's not for that reason it's just to just nice to have whilst whilst have a meal in my opinion and i feel like it helps my meal go down easier so yeah i'm gonna have this with my straw of course this is what it looks like i will also have this exact same thing later on tonight um with my creatine and glutamine in it's just been like a little ritual for me over the past couple of weeks it's just sitting down actually enjoying it because i used to just like put it in a little small glass with no cordial in it or anything and just down the creatine and glutamine and it was just not enjoyable very like powdery and yeah but it's nice to actually put it in this and you can't even like taste it or anything um so yeah i will have that later tonight because creatine and glutamine are two daily supplements that are like my non-negotiables um i will explain why later once i take them but the gravy has to be thick guys we don't like no runny gravy around here this is like the perfect consistency in my opinion nice and thick right this is what my dinner looks like as i said with gravy it does look a lot more appetizing looks a lot nicer um and i'm of course going to be watching vampire diaries whilst i eat this and then i have work to be doing this afternoon and i will obviously catch up with you guys when i'm having my next meal right i am back in the same spot i'm sorry i hope that you don't think this video is like boring i know that i'm literally i have been in this same spot but as it is about eight a day i'm in the kitchen most of this video but as you can tell it is now basically dark outside i've just been sat in a little editing hole for the past couple of hours but i'm really hungry so i'm gonna have a snack and i think i'm just gonna have some cereal i've got some um multi-grain cheerios so i'm gonna have some of these uh with some milk obviously then i'm gonna have my tea after this and i have something so exciting for tea i cannot wait to show you guys because i am so excited to make these and to try them but i'll show you after i've had this but i will put the calories macros and everything on the screen for this snack apologize so much for this lighting it is not doing me <laughs> any favors but i am just about to make my tea and i'm actually really excited because i'm making a hello fresh meal tonight and this video is very kindly sponsored by hello fresh now i know that i have mentioned this on youtube over the past few weeks but i have just been so bored with the meals that i have been making at home like i feel like i just get bored of meals really easily so having hello fresh is nice to just add a little bit of variation into my dinners tonight i'm going to be making the crispy buffalo chicken tacos and chips which i am so excited for because they look unreal so that is what we're going to be making tonight and obviously still keeping the food nice and healthy and nutritious and it's just nice to have everything kind of like planned out for you You know you've got all the ingredients measured out and obviously when you get the box for each recipe everything is weighed out to like exactly what you need there's no excess like food or anything there's no waste but yeah before i get on with making this i just want to tell you guys about a code that i have to get you some money off HelloFresh. so my code is mia 6020 i'll put it on screen and that will get you 60 percent off your 
my first box and 20% off for two months which is such a good deal and you can shop that through the link in the description and you can still eat healthy nutritious foods on a budget so yeah I'm so excited to make this right now I'm gonna go get everything out of the fridge and make it I'll put you on like a little bit of a time lapse Don't mind me, just bundled up in my new dressing gown. This is honestly one of the best things I've ever bought and I just love it so much. But I'm catching up with you because as you all guessed it, I'm having something else to eat. So I'm gonna have um, another yogurt meal because I've been enjoying it so much recently. I'm not gonna have raspberries in this one though because I just like to have those in the morning, but I have got the fire 5% total yogurt i don't like to have like fat free yogurt because it has way less calories in it and obviously my goal is to have more calories so i get the either full fat yogurt or this one um, but i'm gonna have 150 grams of this which is what i had in the morning as well and then i'm gonna have um 20 grams of the dark chocolate with orange and almonds and then chia seeds honey and cinnamon powder I am also now just about to have my creatine and glutamine as I've not had them um, yet today. I take creatine basically because it increases strength and it also increases lean muscle mass. And then I take glutamine because it helps with like digestion and everything like that in your stomach. Um, both of mine are from EHP. The link to shop is in the description. But yeah, I'm just gonna put these in this glass here. Have my yogurt and then probably something else before I go to bed. Yep. Okay guys, I've had my yogurt, creatine and glutamine, everything like that, and I'm now just gonna have one final snack before I go to bed, just to kind of get my calories up. But I'm gonna have these olives because I am obsessed with olives. I love olives so much, and I'll probably just have this whole pack because to be honest, there is not actually that many in there. But yeah, that should take me up to my calorie goal for the day. I will put everything on the screen, and the tea that I had as well tonight was absolutely unreal if you guys want to try hello fresh don't forget to click the link in the description and use my code mia6020 but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want to see more what i eat in a days i feel like i always feel like they're really boring because i obviously see what i eat every single day and i feel like it's quite repetitive because i feel like i kind of have more or less the same thing every day just 
you know, out of convenience. But if you guys want to see more of these, then let me know and I hope that this was helpful. With the calorie tracking side of things, you do not need to be tracking calories to make your progress. Just because I'm doing it, it doesn't mean that you have to do it yourself. If, you know, that is kind of maybe a triggering topic for you or you just don't want to track your calories, you do not have to. It is not the only way to make progress. But yeah, I'm going to get to bed now because I'm tired and I've got a pool session in the morning. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.